Hi, my name's Andy, and I'm one of the pastors here at Riverside and the executive director of Dream Center Peoria. And we want to welcome you to a special Christmas edition of the Dollar Club. Dollar Club is an opportunity to give just one dollar and then see how that one dollar with hundreds of others can impact someone's life. Today, you're going to meet Kaisha. We feel her story will inspire you and will represent hope this Christmas. So join us as we see how we can impact Kaisha's life today with the Dollar Club. Kaisha, thank you so much for taking time to chat with us today. We are sitting here at Pizza Ranch and uh, I just wanted you to just share with us really a bit about your story. My name is Kaisha and I'm 27 old, I know. As a child, life was unstable. Miss meals, the abuse, the, you know, unstable as far as like different foster homes. When I turned 11, uh, I was moved into a home with my twin brother. We were separated, me and my siblings were separated all those years. They put in for me, I started doing visits with them, but um, close to turning 12, I moved in with them and life got better, but then again, it didn't. They worked with me, they, you know, invested their time in me, but it took a long time for me to get it in my mind, you know, that this is my family, they're here for me. So during that time period, uh, it was rough. In and out of prison, in the streets, doing things, you know, I should not have been doing, and which cost me, you know, four prison trips. I think um, this last trip, it clicked. You trip know, to prison. To prison, to yeah. prison. It clicked, it was just like, okay, and someone told me uh, about your last prison time that you actually had a baby while in, mm -hmm. in prison. Tell us about that. When I originally committed my crime and uh, I went to jail, I got out, you know, I found out like four days later that I was pregnant. As I went through the process, going through court dates, state's attorney is like, you know what, well, you, you're, you're on the road to being a habitual criminal. We, don't, we won't give you anything less than five years maybe like a week before it's time for me to turn myself in, you know, I told my public defender like, you know, I'm pregnant. Two days before it's time for me to turn myself in, to accept the time, because I had took an open plea, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna be between two or five. She said, Ms. Shivers, I'm gonna cut you a break. I'm gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you these two years. I'm not doing it for you, I'm doing it for the baby. I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. I was okay, I was okay, until it was time to deliver it. They let me know no family could be in the room. Yeah. No, I wasn't shackled to the bed, but I would be in the uh, the hospital room with guards. You know, so. So the dignity was gone. There. The moment, you know, it's just like you want to be like, well, I'm grateful, but it's just like, man, I can't believe I'm having a baby in prison. So I was in there by myself. Everybody all, you know, suited up and. Um, I just remember when I was slumping over so they can induce me crying. And he comes, he's like, it's okay. He was like, it's okay. This is this is your chance to start over. You know, this would be just something you share with a child, you won't remember it. And he was like, you okay? I'm no, I'm just, you know, overwhelmed because I'm by myself, you know. So I had the baby. I, you know, stayed my three days in the hospital. And I was just thinking like, you know what? Thank you, God. It's over. Now I can move forward. But it was it was hard. It was hard. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with in life. Yeah. Having, having him not not going to jail. You know, I'm not. I you, you learn to adapt. Your story intersected our facility right after, uh, or as you came out of prison with the baby, mm -hmm. and being at the Dream Center. Um, you know, from that situation to to now. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not from Peoria. So relocating to another area, it was a lot of anxiety, you know, but I can say that the staff, you know, Miss Christy, Miss Shirley, Miss Tammy, they did their best to help me transition. Being at the Dream Center has helped me as far as life skills, mm -hmm. shaping me, you know what I mean? And then on top of that, me being from a, you know, church and faith-based background, it's, it's even better. Yeah. You know, knowing that everybody's coming in the name of God, you know, and really want to help people. We know your story. I've heard it a lot, obviously, with being at the Dream Center, in a good way. <laughs> but we also know that you want to move on, and you've even looked at apartments and places, and you know, you, you're great at being able to pay month, 
uh, at wherever you want to go, but that down payment has been like, oh man, I've mm -hmm. got to get that. Well, we do a thing at Riverside called the Dollar Club. Once a month, we ask everyone in the crowd to put an extra dollar into the offering, and we want to bless people in the community. Well, we heard your story, and we want to bless you this month. Oh my God! So, we have got a check here for the landlord for your down payment. Oh my God! I'm sorry. <laughs> and we actually have the landlord oh here. Oh my God! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to sign the contract oh right God. now, okay? And we're not stopping there, but we're going to do this bit here. So this is the, you can come on in. <laughs> oh my God, Chrissy! <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, I love you. <laughs> so if we, are we able to sign it now? Is yeah. that all right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, great. This is going to be your release, honey. Yes, I am. <laughs> Initial on all these pages, but I'll come and visit you and go over everything. Okay, okay thank you. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here's your key. Thank you. To your new home. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm happy for you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. <laughs> but we're not going to stop there. Oh my, I can't, uh, you know, I'm going to start, my heart's going to start beating <laughs> fast. <laughs> so last week, there was 400 women that came to Riverside that um, they came for a Christmas meal, but they were also asked to bring items to bless people. So they bought in tons of toiletries, toothpaste, deodorant. So we've got a little bit for oh you. Oh my God, thank you. Oh, that, <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. So this is all yours. Oh, thank you. We're going to make sure it gets to the apartment. Thank I mean, you. you'll have enough toothpaste there for probably four years. Good. So, so you're good. So. Um, in addition to that, oh no more. In no. addition to that, <laughs> it's Christmas, and we want to make sure that you get a great Christmas. So Miss Shirley and Christy oh, get them. <laughs> are going to take you on a shopping spree at Walmart for two hundred dollars. Oh my God! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank and you. And so that's the gift card. They're going to take you shopping. Make sure you get what you need for your kids. Be able to get a good Christmas. Uh, get groceries in oh, for Christmas wow. just to get you started. Thank you. All right. Oh my goodness. And if that wasn't enough. Oh no, okay. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> now you work at Pizza Ranch. Mm -hmm. We've talked to them and said, listen, we want to take you uh, away for the morning. They're going to carry on paying you today. What? We are going to go and get a Christmas tree for you and your family. We're going to go and get decorations. We're going to put it up in the apartment now. Oh. And we'll take the toiletries as well, Good. so you can get there. But we're going to do that all this morning. Thank you. All right, so uh, we're going to wrap up here, and we're going to go on and, and oh, get man. a Christmas tree for you. Thank you so much. All right. I, I feel like I've been pumped. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, give Good. me a hug. Give me a hug. Thank you so much, you too. <laughs> you guys just don't know. To get a break. Thank you so much. Thank you.